Rain, gusty winds, and possible thunderstorms are on the way. That and more news coming up on Synced In. Hey everyone, pack an umbrella and throw on a rain jacket. Thunderstorms may be on the way. Here's our meteorologist Rob Maeda with this week's weather forecast. Well, we're expecting a very busy night of weather around the Bay Area, and it will impact part of Tuesday morning, especially the Tuesday morning commute. We've got a wind advisory up from 7 o'clock Monday evening through 10 a.m. Tuesday, and right around that time, after midnight, we should also see some of the heaviest rain with our incoming storm. The focus mainly for areas south of San Francisco. It looks like the Santa Cruz Mountains could see the biggest impact with those showers, which may also include some thunderstorms at times, so we'll have to watch that. Even before sunrise, some of those rain rates will be pretty intense and we're expecting at least an inch or two of rain if this uh, pattern holds up through about mid-morning there in the Santa Cruz Mountains and actually some of the higher storm totals could be down for portions of the South Bay and some of the coastal hills along the peninsula. So the seven-day forecast transitions to a few scattered showers, slight chance of thunder showers as we head through Tuesday afternoon. Then Wednesday we should begin to dry out a few morning showers Thursday and Friday looking dry. Then as we head towards next weekend, stay tuned. Of course, we got Sunday night football. 49ers out at Levi Stadium taking on the L.A. Chargers right here on NBC Bay Area. Right now, that forecast calls for showers and cool temperatures this weekend. Thanks, Rob. Be sure to download our free NBC Bay Area app to get rain alerts on your phone before you head out the door. Okay, election day is Tuesday, November 8th, and if you haven't voted, you still can on the same day, either by mail or in person. Here's our digital video journalist, Jonathan Bloom, with what you need to know. Here's the important part. Fold up your ballot, put it in the envelope, and sign the envelope using the same signature that's on your driver's license. If you don't sign it, it won't count. Then seal it up and get ready to send it. So where can you drop off your ballot? Well, you've got some choices. First of all, you can bring it to your county elections office. Here in San Francisco, it's on the ground floor of City Hall. And most counties have official ballot drop boxes near government buildings and other convenient locations. But you can also just drop it in the mail. That official seal on the outside means the Postal Service will deliver it to where it needs to go with no stamps required. It'll count as long as it's postmarked on or before Election Day. And by the way, you can still vote in person, even if you registered to vote by mail. Here in San Francisco, you can bring your mail-in ballot to your assigned polling place, and you can either drop it off there or you can trade it for an in-person ballot. You can find this election explainer and more on props and races at NBCBayArea.com slash Decision 2022. You can also tune into our newscast starting at 4.30 p.m. for coverage of the polls and later join us from 8 p.m. to midnight on our live streaming channels on Roku and Samsung for more election coverage. Well, the number keeps getting bigger and it just broke the record. The Powerball jackpot is now at a ridiculous $1.9 billion. Yeah, the previous record price, by the way, was 1.58B back in 2016. No one hit the jackpot on Saturday, so it's rolling on to the next drawing. As a matter of fact, no one has hit all six numbers in over three months. Quick math here, that's 39 consecutive draws without a jackpot winner. The next drawing is Monday night. Odds of winning, 1 in 292 million. Good luck if you're playing. All right, everyone, that's all I've got for you today. Thanks for watching. Bye.